call the meeting to order. Municipality of Monroeville Planning Commission, May 19th, 2021. Could all please rise with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. <clears throat> Sharon, roll call, please. Mr. Stevenson? Here. Mr. Pacusa? Here. Mr. Conway? Here. Ms. Krivda? Ms. Morgant, or Montgomery, I'm sorry. Here. Mr. Gearhart? Here. Mr. Weldon? Here. Thank you, Sharon. <clears throat> uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you. Uh, the applicants present, Paul? Yes. What we're going to do is we're going to do all three at the same time, but we'll vote on them separately, and you can just do your proposal as we go. So if you would take care of that, Paul. Sure. First item, 21-3-ST, AR Building Company <coughs> Incorporated, Old William Penn Apartments. Applicant is requesting site plan approval to construct a four-story, 121,854 square foot apartment building consisting of 116 units and associated site amenities. The property is approximately eight acres and located at 4281 Old William Penn Highway, tax parcel 742P90, 742R345, 742P74 in the R5 multifamily residential zoning district. That's for the site plan. Uh, for the subdivision, it's 21-1-SUB. Applicant is requesting preliminary and final subdivision approval to consolidate tax parcels 742P90, 742R345, 742P74. The three pro properties total 8.06 acres and are located at 4281 Old William Penn Highway in the R5 multifamily residential zoning district. And finally, uh, it's for the uh, earthwork, 21-1-C era building. Applicant is requesting conditional use approval pursuant to section 401.8 of the Monroeville Zoning Ordinance number 1443 as amended to permit a cut and fill operation totaling approximately 34,781 cubic yards of earth. Property is located at 4281 Old William Penn Highway, tax parcels 742P90, 742R345, 742P74 in the R5 multifamily residential zoning district. The applicant present, please come forward. <clears throat> Anyone that's going to speak, please come forward now and sign in and state your name for the record. Hello, my name is Jason Kambitsis, K-A-M-B-I-T-S-I-S. -S. I'm with AR Building Company. Thank uh, you. Thanks for having us here tonight. Yep. So, uh, I don't know if you want to put the... Just um, hang in until we... Oh, yeah. Everybody. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> Thank you. David, uh, my name is Jeff Campbell. I'm an architect with Rothschild Joint and Collaborative. My name's Ray Gusty with uh, Farringer McCarty Gray. Thank you. Proceed. Okay, great. <clears throat> Paul, you put it on or? Uh, Jared, can you put the uh, PowerPoint on? There you go. Yes. Okay, first of all, thanks for being here tonight. I don't know if this is the first one you guys have had, but I can tell you it's the first in-person planning commission or any commission meeting I've had since March of 2020. Uh, yeah, we welcome you. Yeah, yeah, thanks. And, uh, you know, we've had a bunch of them, so this is quite refreshing. I'm not on my couch doing this. <laughs> I actually had to put on a jacket, which, again, I have not done yeah. since March of 2020. So anyways, uh, again, Jason Kambitz is AR Building. Um, we're going to talk to you tonight about another project we have here. Hey, Jeff, does it? I don't know how we... Do I proceed forward or? 
should uh, just be running off the laptop. Yeah, it doesn't work. Well, it's thinking now. Mm. Well, we'll wait for it to come on. So, you know, just so refresh everybody's memory, AR Building Company is a 52-year-old real estate development firm located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, we uh, buy, sell, and manage all of our own properties. We have over 9,000 units in 11 states. Um, you know, our biggest footprint is here in Pittsburgh. Uh, we've been doing work in Ohio, and we have uh, another office for construction in New England. So we have a large footprint and growing rapidly. Over the last few years, we've started doing projects here in Monroeville. Our first one that's going up is the Evergreen Apartments. I know you've all seen them on the parkway, um, and then we came to this commission to get approval for those. Right. We're very happy with those. Uh, that project's going to open up in about a month. Um, we we would have, if you look at it, it doesn't look like it's done because the parking lot's still full of dirt, <laughs> and that's because it got real muddy out and we couldn't do it. But the building is finishing up on the inside, and we should have people coming in. Just so you guys understand, the property's 92 units. We have a wait list of 300 people who want to move into that property. Oh, wow. So, um, you know, that's as amazing. you can see, we want to keep doing more stuff here. Um, sure. Sure. We have Fox Plan that we're now building, um, and it's kind of the opposite. Uh, we started the foundation on the buildings, and we started paving that lot. So before the building went up, we're going to do the lot as opposed to the other one. But uh, that's how the way it goes. Um, so this is kind of the third prong of that. Um, we've had this property probably longer than Fox planned. Uh, we came here and got it rezoned um, maybe a year or two ago. And here we're kind of talking about the project as it stands. Um, you know, this isn't working, but that's neither here nor there. I'll just <coughs> talk about it. So um, what we're looking at here, and actually... We're just going to move it. So everybody understands what we're looking at here. Uh, this is a, is the overhead still working? Hmm. He'll, he'll bring that up if uh, Jeff can't no, get just do the overhead. Working. Is it going now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You go there. All right, here you go. Okay. Um, okay. Well, on your screens here, you should there see. Is. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Those are the, um, um, all of our, you know, kind of an example of the pro projects we're doing. Uh, this is the club at Dowling Village in North Smithfield, Rhode Island. Um, and then here's some of the other ones. I really don't need to explain it to you guys. You see our building, you understand it. Um, and then here's what's going on here. You've got Evergreen, uh, Fox Plan, and some other shots here of, you know, of what's going on. So we've been rapidly working here, and we're excited to do this one. You know, this one sits just across the highway from Evergreen. As I said, it's 116 units. It's going to have the fit, the feel, and the finish of Evergreen. Uh, again, just like that project, we're working with the slopes trying to deal with the natural topography. You know, we don't really want to come in and do a whole flat plane here. It'd be hard to do. We like the idea that the building is tiered and it kind of sits within the community. Um, you know, as you can see here, hey, it's a busy highway. But if you've ever been on the site, I don't know if you have, I implore you to come up to Evergreen and look at it. It's not really loud. It's not really anything. I mean, it actually feels nice. It's calming. You know, on the top floor, you can look up and down the parkway. It's fantastic. I was there yesterday. Okay, well, then there you go. Yeah, so I hope you liked it. Um, so <coughs> this one is going to sit just on the other side. You know, they're kind of a gateway to Monroeville, and I hope what we're doing is, uh, is a formidable gateway for you guys to see these two buildings right here coming up as you go uh, east or west on the parkway. Um, I'll let Jeff kind of talk about the architecture a little bit more, uh, kind of get into it, so I'll hand over to Jeff Campbell. So my name is Jeff Campbell. I'm an architect with Rothschild Donut Collaborative. I was the architect for Evergreen as well as a lot of other AR projects that have been working together here for about 17 years. Um, you know, as Jason mentioned, it, it is meant to be sort of a sister project, so the same type of uh, finish and feel, a lot of the same types of units, you know, nice light uh, on the interior. There, it's an elevated building. Uh, every unit has a porch, which has been a really nice amenity. Um, Unlike Evergreen, Evergreen's it sort of uh, fronts the street or fronts the highway a little bit differently too. So we're, it's not an identical building, but you'll see just different shots of it as you come through. Uh, Evergreen is almost invisible as you go out of Monroeville towards downtown, um, whereas this one will be very visible on the left. Uh, so we'll have just a few shots here. Um, here we're kind of showing uh, from a site standpoint. Uh, there really only is, we're landlocked by other properties in every direction except for the yellow star is here. Uh, so that's really the only place that we can access the building. Uh, so there is, you'll see, a, our, our site plan does include an, a site access from there. So this is a uh, larger version, and there's also a site plan right here that uh, Far Faringer McCarty Gray did uh, that shows how we're approaching the site. So again, we are, you know, we've got the highway to the north of the site, and then we've got properties on the right and to the bottom plan bottom of this one. So the only common road we have is off of uh, Old William Penn. 
and that's off to the left. There is a small gully there. We are crossing that gully, and then the road snakes up to get to the topography uh, and to get to the, the platform where the building is. Uh, we have we intentionally wanted to get the, keep the parking on the highway side, just to create a little more buffer from that highway and the noise. Um, but then we, we have the building that's pretty well sited. It's actually will have a lot of nice views towards the forest and down to the south, a lot of great light in that regard as well. It's also a, uh, similar to Evergreen, it's a four-story building, but it's actually stepped. Uh, so the site that's to the left of the page here and closer to Oldley and Penn is actually down a floor. And then inside the building, it'll step up a floor to get to a, a more, a larger path up top. And I have some floor plans I can share with you as well. Uh, we have done, you know, zoning analysis. I'm happy to bring this page back, uh, go into it in whatever detail we want, and maybe zoom in so it's legible as well. Uh, but it is just a, a zoning analysis here. Uh, here we just did a, we got a drone photographer last year. And we're loving it. I'm trying to zoom out a little bit. Um, so we, we actually went in and took a drone image over the site so you could actually see exactly what the site looked like, what it was situated. And then this is the, uh, the Revit software we use. This is actually the, the model that we'll use to make the construction documents. So we can say very confidently that this is what it will look like. And so here we've sited on the building. You kind of see the, uh, you know, the way we are kind of buffering off the highway. And again, those same qualities, the same porches, the, the use of brick and the vinyl. Um, as uh, I believe Jason mentioned, you know, they do own and maintain all these buildings. Uh, so it is something they want to make sure it looks as good in 15 years as it does today. So that's a, a you know, that's one big reason for the brick. And then I'll go through these very quickly, but just for reference, uh, these are the floor plans. So as you come up, there is that a first floor has, uh, the ground floor is only half a floor uh, towards the old William Penn side. And then you'll step up to one larger first floor. Uh, it is for a building code purposes, it is actually considered two buildings from a building code standpoint. So there's a firewall in between that just basically works as a, a closing door that would be on a hold open. Um, there is also a, a pretty healthy common space, similar to Ever Evergreen, uh, where we have a sales office, a fitness area, uh, also have you know, a lounge, a lobby, that type of thing that will open up into a pool in the back. And then the upper floors here, um, just giving you a sense of what it, what it is. I think we're at uh, so 43 uh, studios. 40 bedrooms, and then 33 two-bedrooms as well for 116 total. And then lastly, these are just some straight-on elevations more for uh, zoning purposes. Um, we are permitted to go up to 100 feet here. Uh, we're only proposing each side of the building is 69 feet, depending on how you define that. I think the absolute worst-case scenario we have is about 62 feet. So uh, you know, we're sticking to that. It won't be taller than that. And that's from the mean of the roof. <coughs> at the highest <coughs> point of the, the highest roof to the lowest point of the building right now. So uh, that's only 62 feet. And then lastly, just uh, this is just the other side of the building. So so I can leave it at that. You know, raise here too if there's any questions for civil. Um, I'm happy to go into the architecture as well or anything else. You've met with fire and there's no issues with them from what we understand. Hmm. Uh, all units are sprinkled, is that correct? That's correct. It'll all be NFPA 13. All right. I have a curiosity question, sure. just because I drive by there and I'm like, that's got to be noisy. So I'm just kind of curious, how did you abate that? <laughs> Great question. Um, <laughs> you know, we haven't done anything other than, than the design. I mean, it, it isn't that noisy. Mm. Um, we have other properties like this that are on highways and people tend to like the white noise of it, oh, okay. honestly. Um, people like to see the highway, they like the motion. Um, you know, we have one that sits at the corner of Route 51 and Lebanon Church Road in Baldwin. It sits right at the corner. Wow. And people love it. And they love to see the, the lights. And the, so we, we never had any complaints. And when you're in the building, you don't hear anything. Hmm. Uh, when you're out on the porch, you know, okay, you're going to hear it, but you kind of know that. Right. So, yeah, we have. And when we got into this, we talked about, oh, noise abatement, windows, all that kind of stuff. And just chose to stay away from that because we haven't had any issues in the past. So. Well, Evergreen's on the downhill side. This is on the uphill side. <laughs> you might get a little more noise from those trucks trying to yeah, you, you climb might, that but hill. You get the brakes going downhill too. But yeah, I think <laughs> yeah, I think uh, whatever one gets, the other one's going to get. So. <laughs> yeah, I know what That's you mean. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my uh, to be honest with you, my my only fear with this building is. 
not having rear access for fire apparatus. To have to hand jack ladders all the way to the back of that building, I mean, that is a big fear for me. Fire signed off. Yeah. Oh, I understand. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> sure. I'm just stating my. Okay. Yeah, and and we we do that early on because we understand that, and we go to a fire because we know that everybody talks about parking's an issue, well, fire marshal's an issue. You know, yeah. they they want to know what's going on. Right. Um, we don't. Um, and again, I hear you. We, we yeah. don't we don't take that lightly. Yeah. Um, for us, we don't want anything to happen in our buildings. That's yeah. why we sprinkle them even in places where they don't need to be. I mean, we just do that for our own. As okay. owners to these things, and we keep them. We we tend to do that. So. I know. If I know fire signed off, but even with some type of prepared walkway help, in your opinion? Would a prepared walkway help to I mean, uh, carry things instead of being on, I assume, grass? To me, with rear elevations like that, I always look at being able to get an aerial back there. Oh. <laughs> just so you're not <clears throat> and everything, but you're not so you're, do it. Yeah. I, just, I just wanted to. Yeah, no, I understand. Just yeah. wanted to put my yeah. my opinion. I appreciate on that. that. Is is the area behind uh, level enough for them to no. use ladders to get up if they have? Oh, ladders. Yeah, right. I think they do a full fledged road around or anything no, no, like that. No, no. I'm just yeah, it's level enough back there. It's yeah, level enough. For oh yeah, sure. Install ladders and get yeah, yeah, out yeah. if they had to. Oh yeah. Any other questions from the board? Yeah, just about the elevator. Is it just a single elevator, or I assume it still serves all floors at the split there? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. <clears throat> Any other questions from members of the board? Um, one thing that always comes up is handling the runoff water. Um, I assume that's been looked at, Paul. Yeah, they have uh, two ponds and an underground detention uh, tank. I see the one. It's P-O-O-L, huh? <laughs> Trying to make it joke. <laughs> Where's this, where at? Hey, Ray, you, you want to put this one up? Well, I have them highlighted. We, we yeah. can also add beyond that um, you, all the... See, I, if you do the overhead, you can see that the all the, the, all the parking there? spots hey, have Jerry, pavers. Hey, can you go back to the overhead real quick? Can you zoom in on, uh, on that? All the parking spots here have pavers on them. <laughs> Um, that actually let the water go in, but I'll let Ray get into it. So, in the upper left hand corner, we have a detention basin. Can, can you pull right. that down there, off the screen there a little bit? There you go. Make sure it's in. All right. You just covered the pond. <laughs> now we're out. Okay. That's a swimming pool. That's a swimming pool, yeah. We, we want to be careful. <laughs> Over. Here, let's just do this. Turn it. There you go. <laughs> so, we have a detention basin up here in the upper left hand corner, an infiltration basin here. We have to, you know, DEP now requires you to infiltrate the two-year storm, so we have an infiltration basin here. This basin collects the runoff from most of the parking lot. This infiltration basin collects most of the runoff from the building. And then this wing here is collected in an underground detention system. Can you sign that back over so you understand? And as Jason had mentioned, where, where the parking stalls are, those are permeable pavers. So that it meets meets and was, and was approved by your, uh, your, your stormwater right. engineer. Okay. This, this site is a, has a 70% release rate, so we, uh, we're actually detaining more right. than what, what's <coughs> going off now. So. Any further questions from board members? Hmm. Anyone in the audience want to speak? <laughs> in that case, <coughs> I'll entertain a motion for 21-3-ST. Motion to approve. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'll entertain a motion for 21-1-SUB. Make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Need a motion for 21-1-C. Motion to approve. I'll I second, second that. <laughs> you can second Aye. it, Larry. That's fine. All in favor? Aye. 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 The ayes have it. 
You're good to go, gentlemen. Right, thank good luck you. Thank this you very one. much. All yeah. right. Thank Have you for continuing evening. to build here. You guys do great products. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, we appreciate that. We're, we're thank glad you. you're getting such attention to this one. Through the whole process. We've got more coming. Nice job. Good. We've got more coming here, guys. We'll be here. All right. Good. Thank you. That leaves one more motion. Motion to adjourn. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're good to go. All right. Thank you all.